the conservative leader says your bill on hate is about banning speech you hate. And uh, he also called you someone with a woke authoritarian agenda who spent the first half of his adult life as a practicing racist. What's your response to that? Uh, my response to, to the, the substantive part of that question is Mr. Polyev hasn't even seen the legislation we're about to put forward next week. He's already telling people exactly what it is and what it isn't. I think responsible leadership is about dealing in facts, actually reading a piece of legislation before uh, he starts telling people what he think it does, uh, and then having a rigorous debate in Parliament about how to best protect kids. He's not interested in that. He's interested in hurling insults and in distracting from the fact that he has no plan on housing. He has no plan on child care. He has no plan on fighting climate change and creating good jobs for the future. He has no plan in terms of building and protecting the kinds of jobs here in Alberta or across the country that people are going to rely on in a transforming world. What does he have a plan for? He has a plan for stoking division, creating fear, throwing out personal insults. That's not leadership. Pierre Polier critiques Justin Trudeau's leadership raising doubts about Trudeau's ability to exercise responsible authority. Poilier questions Trudeau's handling of practical issues such as housing, child care, and job creation, highlighting the lack of substance in Trudeau's plans. He consistently criticizes Trudeau's tendency to use divisive tactics instead of focusing on practical solutions, challenging Trudeau's effectiveness as a leader. Poilier's critique extends to Trudeau's stance on the anti-hate speech bill, pointing out concerns about his decision-making process. He suggests that Trudeau relies on personal insults and fear-mongering rather than engaging in constructive dialogues, indicating a communication style that lacks substantive discussions. Poilievre's recurring criticism suggests that Trudeau's use of fear and division in politics strays from genuine leadership values raising questions about his ability to lead responsibly.